Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And also, happy Thanksgiving. And being that it's close to Thanksgiving, I had an idea for a video. When I first started playing Minecraft Java Edition about a year ago, I decided that I was going to immediately start off with a survival world. And that's what I did, right? So, as soon as I made the survival world, I didn't like it, so I deleted it and I started anew. And this one was very, like, autumn-themed, you know? It was, like, the colors of the savannah wood and everything. It just made it more of, like, a fall-themed kind of world. So I thought, okay, well, it's almost Thanksgiving, so why don't I just make it a Thanksgiving village? Well, I haven't been on this world in a long, long time. About a year, I'd say. So I'm going to just reminisce, and this is going to be my little Thanksgiving video. So I basically turned this whole village into my dwelling. This whole village. So let's see here. Can't go in this way. I made a proper entrance. There's two entrances, I believe. If we go... Oh yeah, by the way, if you couldn't tell, I have full diamond armor. Did Now be honest, when I first started filming, did any of you think that this was the survival series? And you thought, wow, he got diamond armor already? Be honest. Did you? Anyways, you walk in here, you got a giant Christmas tree. And um, that was because I also played this during Christmas. But it was mainly for Thanksgiving. So in here, you got a bunch of gardens, a bunch of crops and fields. You got the fountain and everything. And actually, let's go over here first. So I made each house designated to different family members. I pretended as if each villager was a family member. Um... In fact, I wonder if any of them still have name tags over top. I did quite well in this survival world, even though my house design was anything but amazing. Do you have a name? Faith. Hello, Faith. Uh, Faith, this is not what you look like, by the way. I'm not. I'm not saying you do, but um, I yeah. I basically just named all of my family members. You go over here, and this was just supposed to be like a little Christmas monument or something. Up these stairs, or we could take that stylish way, you'd reach my house. I'm going to go through the fun way, which is a water elevator. You got up and down. And it spits you right out at the top. You got this little sign. This would have been the top of the staircase, so... This was my house. It doesn't look very impressive. I, I understand that. It was really bad now that I look at it, but... Hey, this was my very first time playing Java Edition. So you would come in, and I updated this so many times, it used to be incredibly cluttered, but I wanted to make like a gold block ceiling, I had chests full of stuff, what's even in these? I had no storage system back then, can you imagine that? Me, with no storage system. I, I find that, <gasps> wait, what's this down here? Was this where I had kept my valuables? Wait, 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 I want to know what's down here. Redstone, I never used redstone. What was in this one? There we go. There's the diamonds and emeralds and all the valuables. What was down here? I actually don't remember. So, guys, I'm about to go downstairs. I don't remember what was down here. But before I do, is there any food? Rats, no food. Okay, down here. Oh, wait, was this a storage? This was... Oh, wait, I have tons of food. Why am I eating bread? Give me the steak. And this was, right, lapis so I could enchant everything. I didn't realize how, how well I was doing in this world. Even though my designs for things were not the, the best, um, I actually was doing pretty well. As in, I had plenty of resources and whatnot. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, I had my name in the, in the sky. Yes, I did call myself Chrome Cable before the channel was ever created. That's just what I decided to call myself. Back here we have tons upon tons of wheat, seeds, and everything. I think I had a melon farm. Oh, we have our sheep. What was his name? Revan, after Darth Revan, one of my favorite Star Wars characters. Um, I think I was. I think there was a yellow one too named Bastila. Don't know what happened to her. Uh, over here we had an outdoor crafting area. I was all about making like outdoor things that you would usually find on the inside, like this crafting table. This nether portal, I don't remember where it goes, so I'm not going to go through. But I think that's a pretty cool design for a nether portal. Um, this was my 
garbage pit. For example, I don't want these seeds or this rotten flesh, so they just go in there. This was my personal Christmas tree that I made, and I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look much like a Christmas tree as much as it looks like a normal tree. But anyways, down here we had more uh, village stuff. You may have been wondering, what is this lectern doing over here? Uh, that I put up here because I pretended that this would be... If the villagers held meetings and, like, rallies and stuff, they would all happen, like, down there, if you know what I mean. Um, but with that aside, we'll go back down. Not all the way down. We're just going to go right over here. So we dropped down here, and this was my way of getting across really quickly. I would just sprint across the glass and jump down into where my horse was. Is my horse even named? My horse wasn't named. I could have sworn I named him. In any case, I had a bunch of houses down here that I attempted my best to custom make. Much to, well, to little avail. Um, you got always got to have your cross, you know, that golden cross. It looks pretty cool. A uh, bunch of pillars and stuff to make it feel more like Thanksgiving. And this giant table, which was going to be like the banquet table. When I created this, I envisioned it as like the pilgrims and Indians. If they had a giant table of some sort to eat their uh, f harvest feast or whatever, it would kind of look like this, minus the uh, Christmas colored terracotta. Um, but that's what it would have looked like in my opinion, at least back then. This was the other entrance, and I believe there should be a pillager outpost in that direction, if I'm not mistaken. And this one... What was this? I don't remember what this ha was. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so sad. This was my memorial after my grandparents died. Dick and Judy Miller. Actually, well, sometimes they call them Richard. Uh, this, this was my... This was my memorial to him. I think I put, like, little coffins down there and everything. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Forgot about that. Well, now I'm all sad. Let's make me happy again. Oh, this was my mine. Okay, how good was my mine? Let's go back to the surface. But I'm going to do something that I have not done in forever. Something that I've wanted to do for months now when I would finally return to this village. I'm going to watch the sunset from my perch. And look out across my name. I think I had a much bigger ego back then. I would, I would definitely uh, say that. Glowstone. There we go. Watching the sunset. Got the giant name. Looking across the village. Oh, this was the simple days. Good times. This bring ba brings back a lot of memories. I miss it. But at the same time, I love this new survival series world that I've been doing. I honestly really like it. And if you guys like it too, then just consider subscribing, you know? It only takes a couple seconds. And if you already watch my videos all the time, why not just consider hitting the button? Right? Anyways, as I am uh, running around here, not sure where to go, and avoiding every mob that I can... I think there was a pillager outpost over here, like I said. Let's see if it's over here. Yes, I was correct, except at, I totally forgot. What was I trying to do here? I was trying to collect something. I think, oh, I was trying to get all of the pillagers to stop spawning in. So originally I thought if I just burned down the outpost and killed them all, that would that would work. But it didn't. Um, so then I, <laughs> I put lava everywhere. That also didn't. Well, actually, it kind of worked. I blew a bunch of stuff up too, but they kept spawning. So I think the lava did the trick. They no longer spawn in. Lots of destruction. We are going to find out. So you come all the way up here. And it was just this little, this little place. Got your tables, chairs. All right, what's in the chest? I think it was a book, right? Oh, and the Nether Star. When I when I beat the Wither. Okay, the only thing. By Chrome Cable. Okay, I honestly have no idea what's in this book. It's probably going to be really embarrassing and cringy. Um, but hey, that's what you guys like to see, so we're going to read it right now. This is the final memoirs of Chrome Cable. 
I am writing after having to flee my village. Something nasty, something sinister has overtaken it. I'm afraid to go back as I fear I will see the remains of my loved ones. To the finder of this text, you are being entrusted with the only thing that can, I believe can stop this monster. I leave you with this, another star. Very rare and very dangerous. I trust you to know how to use it. This monster is unlike anything else I've seen. It's like a shadow. The only thing visible at night are its empty eyes that seem to glow. Keep this star safe no matter the cost. You are my heir and- wait a minute. What was that noise? I- I think someone's here. Oh well. It's probably just my imagine- ah! Oh, so I remember. I was using my imagination and my creativity. Creativity was supposed to be in quotes there, by the way. Um, to attempt to make my own little story. And, and if anyone else ever played this world, they would think that I got killed by some new mob or something like that. I, I think that's what I was going for. Um, but I'm just going to leave that there. That, that was very cringy. That was cringy like I thought it was, but um, just goes to show that I loved to create things like that. But this was my Thanksgiving village. Guys, if you liked it, or even if you didn't, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We have only a month to go to attempt to reach 100 subscribers. And before we sign off, I'd just like to tell you three things I am thankful for just because it is that time of year. Number one, I am thankful for all of my friends and all of my family and all the people that have supported me, both in this channel, in life, everything like that. I am, number two, I am extremely thankful for all of the things that I have been provided with, both by, by God and by family and friends and all that stuff, such as being able to play Minecraft. All you supporters out there that enjoy watching my videos, I'm thankful for you guys. And number three, number three is you, for watching, for liking, which I hope you do, and subscribing, which I also hope you do, and I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys in the next video.